Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Okay. Good morning. Wow, more of you are here than I thought. It's Easter morning. Um, how are you? <laughs> I have lots of announcements and Anne remind me. Oh, Anne is here. Uh, I need to go live in your artful journey and announce the March winner. I can do it here too. All right. Um, good morning. I just have to tell you, I had a wonderful day yesterday after we're live. So maybe every day I should do morning meditation with you. So um Right after we were done, I went to my friend Stacy's, who owns um, Ramona Barn Owls. Well, she doesn't own the owls. She's all about the preservation of owls. And um, I can't remember how many owlets are at her in her barn bo the owl boxes. But uh, went there yesterday and got a new, actually got a couple of new t-shirts or sweatshirts. Uh, and this one happens to be purple lavender. So that matches uh, the theme for what I'm doing. Um, anyway, just happy Easter. Uh, I ended up there and then came home, took a little nap, watched two or three movies yesterday, which is very unusual of me. I don't really sit very often. I, en I ended up watching TV while I was kind of napping, but I watched movies. And then... Uh, my son texted and said, Mom, do you have any plans tonight? Would you like to go to dinner? It wouldn't have, it wouldn't really have mattered if I was met meeting with the queen last night and he texted. I would have said, oh, I'm just going to cancel with the queen. Uh, so we have a lovely dinner together. Actually, it was so great. I had a really great dinner. So that was my day yesterday. And yes, I am wearing a brand new sweatshirt, which I'm kind of hot right now, so. I had to open the window. Anyway, um, welcome, welcome, welcome to my studio. I'll do a free demo. Yesterday we did this. It was so fun. I think with you guys. Quick and easy. We'll do that again. I have to tell you the there. The shimmer and shine on that was perfect. Anyway, then I came home and I watched some more movies. I must have needed some time off is what I needed. I, sometimes I know my body says to me, time to rest. Yeah, I do have a giveaway prize winner, which I will announce at the end of this. Um, let me talk about the Lavender Field Challenge. Every night I go to bed and wake up with a ton more questions. So, yes, I'm doing a challenge in April, April 15th through the 18th. At 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every day. No, you don't need to be there live if you are fantastic. If you're not, they're recorded for lifetime access, so do not worry if you miss it. What is the theme? Well, it's lavender, and it's suited that I'm wearing purple today. How could that be? Anyway, um, whichever way you want to paint it, but let's talk about it. Four days of freaking creativity fun. Um, yes, you get a complete supply list. Here is the sample. All of these links are clickable. In four days, we're going to do four projects. Four, four, four. What is that box from Taco Bell? I don't know. Four, four, four or something. I don't know. Um, we're going to start with a lovely gift bag, which probably will be shown better here. So here's just a lovely gift bag. Somebody said, I'm worried about all the surfaces. Well, if you have a Dollar Tree or a 99 cent store or Amazon or really, if you go in your closet, you probably have a gift bag. It doesn't have to be white. Mine is white. 
A white gift bag will do you just fine. That's day number one. Day number two, we're going to do gift tags. This is just a couple of samples in the allotted time. I'll try to get to as many tags as I can do. <coughs> this is just a plain office supply. This is just, uh, this is four by six. I cut this out myself. It's not very complicated. It's really easy. So we'll do gift tags. Well, then on the third day, we're going to do a gift card to go with your gift tags on your gift bag. Get it? It all has a theme. The hip bones connected to the bone. Remember that song? Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Looking up phrases and Okay. Anyway, um, all of those things are interconnected. Do you get it? We have a theme going. We have a present going. And then on day number four, whether you choose to do this in your art journal or on a canvas, this is on a six by six canvas. It's up to you. I am not going to tell you what to do, but do you see that this gift has a theme? Could be for Mother's Day, could be for somebody special. Yesterday, somebody messaged me and said, um, I don't have a mother to give something to, but I'm like, you always have somebody special in your life. Maybe somebody who's like a mother or your kid or your daughter, or it's any, a baby shower. I mean, think about this. It's lavender. Everybody loves lavender, unless you're allergic to it. And in that case, I'm sorry, because I'm allergic to shellfish. And I'm sorry about that. But anyway, um, yes, I'll be painting it in acrylic. Somebody said, can I paint it in watercolors? By all means, but I'll be teaching it in acrylics. And then, of course, I always say, if you want to add to your gift bag, you get the theme. So just add. Uh, okay, I was just told I'm aging myself because conjunction, junction, what's your function? I remember it as well. Do you remember that it was, do you remember the after school specials too? I can't remember. Uh, what was it? That, remember the bill? I'm just a bill on Capitol Hill. He explained how a bill was passed. That's pretty much how I learned a lot. I miss those days. I am aging myself. I don't mind. Um, so you get the theme here. And then, of course, um, I have lots of extra. I'm going to be doing giveaways. We have a hundred dollar gift certificate to Deco Art to pick out out the paints you want. Um, we have, I think, a Deco Art paint set. I'm going to give away a set that I ordered off of Amazon because I'm making four gifts. Okay, I'm making four gifts. So I happened to order this off of Amazon, and I gave the link because it exactly matches what I painted. But I painted what I painted before I got the gift. But this is a candle. Isn't it pretty? A candle. It goes so perfectly with what I painted. Hand balm. Um, body scrub. I mean, is this does not scream a gift? I don't know. Lavender bath soap. Either that or, or extreme. It, it screams to your friend that they need to shower. I have a few friends. I could use this. Um, lavender bath salt. It has lavender baby bath oil, but I think I'm feeling this for myself. Um, it has a mask. I have never in my life put a mask on like this. I don't know. I guess it's a thing. All right. We need to bring that back that stuff. Kids, yeah. Stop it. Unless they just play it on social media. All the yeah. I'm only a bill. I'm living here on Capitol Hill. What are the other ones? I just remember conjunction junction. What's your function? All right. So I'm going to give that's one of those sets away as well. Anyway. Uh, April 15th through the 18th. The cost is $10. Somebody asked me uh, when they get their supplies in the mail, uh, when you order them or buy them or get them. Uh, I can't supply the paints for $10. I probably couldn't ship it to you for $10. Uh, but that's the fun. Here's the thing. Use what you have. Somebody asked me about colors and gesso doesn't need to be the same exact stuff. Here's my stuff in a bin. Um, gesso comes in a variety of forms. I just said white. This is gesso. This is gesso. Any gesso will do you. I used acrylic paints. I used white. Okay. Two shades of purple. 
Mine is lilac meadow and purple iris. Does not mean you have to have the same colors. Just pick out two shades. Two shades of yellow. This is baby duck and sunset gold. You can use another brand. Two shades of green. New leaf and jewel green. That's it. Paint brushes. Yeah. Okay. That all covers it. Uh, if you can't be there live, you can absolutely watch the recorded version. Somebody said, can I just watch you first and paint it later? Absolutely. We have prizes all week long. And it's at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7.30 Eastern Time, 6.30 Central Time. Uh, I am not a good time converter. <laughs> Uh, go online, so if you're overseas, you have the right time. But again, you can rewatch it, okay? Does that answer your question? I think I covered it. I'm a little tired today. Um, I think that covers that. All right. Uh, what we get to today, you know what I thought I would do? Good morning. Happy Easter, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. So after I'm done here, I'm going outside to fill orders because, yes, I run a full-time laser studio where I make things, such as this art journal. I'm going to paint in this art journal. I'm going to do a quickie morning meditation. What do I mean by, oh, should I give the link to sign up for the Lavender Fields art challenge? Um, somebody said, why $10? Because I would like to encourage you to join me for $10. It's the cost of a cup of coffee. I think it really is the cost of a cup of coffee, the way some of y'all order your coffee. I don't drink coffee, but I bet you there are $10 coffees out there. I just don't drink coffee. Um, I only drink tea. All right. People are surprised when they hear that I don't drink coffee. <laughs> nope, this is a natural high. <laughs> this is how I roll. This is how I roll every single day. I wake up, my feet hit the ground. I am absolutely thankful that they hit the ground and I woke up on the green side of the grass. And for the most part, that's how I go. All right. I know that's kind of crazy. I'm going to say good morning to everybody. Uh, I know I am. I'm just rolling in hot today. All right. There we go. Good morning, LaJean. Kimberly, good morning, Robin, Joanne. Yeah, if you're joining me in art journaling for beginners, uh, Clarice said lazy with my coffee this morning. Yeah, I don't drink coffee either. I don't drink soda either. I really just drink tea and water. Oh, and wine. That's, that's pretty much what I drink. Um, and wine, not so much because I was losing weight. Anyway, uh, while I'm talking to you, I'm going to take off the journal. Yesterday, if somebody bought yesterday's journal, you're welcome to do that. The cost, the painting is for free, but you have to pay for the journal. And um, the shipping. But this is a handmade journal by yours truly. Hello, Dina B. Uh, I feel like right now, uh, sorry if you can hear cars outside. I just am warm. I'll, I'll shut that window if it becomes disturbing. I'll take this off while we're talking. I'm going to do another quick painting today. What does morning meditation mean to me? Well, morning meditation is part of what I do with your Artful Journey members. It's 20 minutes to jumpstart your creativity. I know a lot of people feel like, oh, I need to start a canvas and it takes me 22 weeks or you're painting with Sistine Chapel, whatever you're painting, and it takes a long time. I'm not like that. I like to do creativity for my mind, body, and spirit. Um, and I like it to be in small bite-sized pieces that is attainable and affordable and uh, I can finish it in a sitting. Now, not everything I paint uh, takes that 15 minutes. A lot of stuff I do takes a lot longer. But on a daily, I like to do something creative every day. It's it on my wall. Do something creative every day. Literally written on my wall right in front of me as a reminder. I feel better, do better, act better, think better uh, when I release through creativity. I tend to be a highly anxious, anxious person. Yeah, I have a lot of anxiety. 
Uh, but also I tend to be a highly revved up person. In other words, there's probably enough energy for 87 people encapsulated in this one soul. We joke that possibly I'll go skidding into the day that I am done on said earth. Um, and that's how I operate. I've always been this way. I've had a nice little chat about my son uh, about that. Um, and creativity relaxes me. It stops me, pauses me, gives me great reflection. And I love to share it with you guys. So I try to do something called morning meditation every day. It's not necessarily in the morning. It could be called afternoon meditation. It could be called evening meditation. It could be called I'm driving in the car with my husband meditation. I don't have a husband. <laughs> so most of the time I'm driving, I can't do that in the car. I'm so enjoying painting in San Diego, having traveled from your home in the UK. I'm going to wave to Nina because Nina is like about 35 to 45 minutes. I believe visiting her family members, not so far from me, from the UK. All right. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and create. Any questions before I begin? And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. Uh, I think that's all I have to say. And did I cover everything? And yes, I'll announce the winner of your Artful Journey uh, March. I have a membership group called Your Artful Journey. If you're a member, please stand up. Please stand up. Um, I will announce our March motivation winner uh, when I'm done. Um, uh, and I have no plans to work. Uh, to work when I say work, my family. Uh, I uh, my kids are all away. I saw my son last night. Okay, give your watercolors a nice saturation about 30, I almost said 30 minutes, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna use the same set I used yesterday, it just seems so fitting. I think I have two sets left in inventory. This is called Pastel Dreams. I absolutely love it. Uh, I abs absolutely loved it yesterday. That's what I painted in. I'm going to use the same exact supplies that I used yesterday. Everybody's raising their hand. Raise your hand. You know it. Raise your hand. You got it. You're confident and sure. Should have been a jingle writer. All right. So what are we painting today? I have a six by six watercolor journal out that I made. Super handy because it says art journal on the top. All right. I'm going to grab one of my very, this is, these are the same pens I used yesterday. And I'm going to grab the thinnest. It's 0.1. I have these all, everything I'm using is on my website. So if you're going to order, order now or forever hold your piece because I'm going out there. No, I have to travel again on Wednesday. Oh my goodness, I love this. Let's see. So Reese over in your art journaling for beginners raised her hand. I love this. You know what, Beverly? Your artful journey changed my life for the best. My life was a little was a little different at the time, and it changed my life. So thank you. All right. Ooh. I'm going to do a sketch, which I normally never do. Um, oh, I'm going to start my, I'm going to start. I'm going to do a time lapse of this. Sorry. If you have any questions, go for it. I'm available. All right. I want to time lapse this. Somebody wanted to see me create. Okay. I don't know why my, why is everything shifting on my desk? Did we have an earthquake while I was gone? Okay was gone last week so <clears throat> oh well that's why you guys all right here we go so I went down my watercolors and let's just go ahead I gotta slow my mind slow my mind I'm gonna this is weird you might you might not see much of my I don't really sketch and I don't sketch in pencil for sure because that's just Happy Easter, happy Easter, Rosemary. Okay. 
what are these? They're just little dots. So don't uh, wig out that I'm doing something special. I'm not. I just want to. Well, you get it. You have to draw it. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. I might throw in a couple more. Good. Ah. Slow my brain down. I actually love these colors yesterday, so it was really kind of fun to use them. Using my water lily brushes. I'm going to just drop some color. Just drop some, just drop in some color. Drop it like it's hot. There we go. Yeah. Journal for sale today. Of course it is. I'm okay with that. All right. Oh, this is a really big brush for what I'm doing on a small surface. So let's let's size that baby down. I'm using a four now. Sure. Now, I don't necessarily want all my colors to run together, but I'm going to dry this. Look, you can shift the colors. Colors move. Maybe we should go soft today. Oh, the sun is poking its head out. We've got like an inch and a half of rain. It's just crazy. For us, I should say. Oh, you know what I'll do while I'm waiting for this to dry? Yep. Uh, shipping in the USA. If you just want, the painting will be for free. And no worries, because I know somebody who does want this journal. But if you want it. Okay. I don't normally do so much sketching up front, but... I'm having a good time, so why not? And then we'll keep it kind of soft. Okay, we have a drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I know that this all is free to paint. Just going to come in and I'm going to drop the green in here, which I love this color. I literally instantly can kind of feel like my blood pressure lowers when I do this. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to drop some blue in there. This is going to look like an Easter basket. What do you think about that? Okay. I kind of love that multicolored. So I'm going a little bit wet on wet here. Happy Easter. I love everybody popping in. Happy Easter. 
Good morning. Okay, I'm just dropping some blue, just random little drops of blue. I think I think the heat's on in my house or my menopause gauge is going off. It is very warm and I'm wearing a sweatshirt, so. Boo, boo, do. The color, uh, somebody asked on YouTube what palette I'm using. I am using um, Pastel Dreams. Kind of seemed fitting for today. A little bit of soft blue in there. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm missing some little spots in here, but it you don't have to be exact, but I'll just drop. Just feel like there's a little bit going on in here. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Love the color of your sweatshirt. Love yours in the air. It is in the air. I bought this yesterday. These are my friends. All the musicians on here I could name. I can even name the person who made the hat here because she made my hat and she sat at my table yesterday. All local. I'm not joking, it's so hot, one must open. It's a window again. Okay, what do you think about the softer side of Tracy without some way bold colors here? I'm scaring myself. Oh, I think I missed a spot, that's all right. It is so special because the owner who does this, um, Ramona Barnells, actually lives down the road from me, and she's all about the pre preservation of owls, and then major part of her ecosystem here, and then also all the musicians. Uh, that would probably be Ashley. Hold on, I got a look. Uh, Chloe. I'm gonna say Thea. We all have different captains. That's who that's based on. And then Tara makes the hats. I even thought about for my retreat, inviting some of them to stop by and show us their wares because it's so cute. All right, now we're dry. Nope, not all the way. I have to kind of make sure this dries up a little bit so I don't. I don't want all the colors. Today, I ran the colors yesterday. Today, I'm not running the colors. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, do you guys, I, I was going to leave this flower white. So that's going to be white. I was thinking this guy purple and that guy pink. Somebody disagree. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this with as clean of water as I possibly can. Just wet these petals. I feel like I'm caught in the movie or the song, Here Comes the Rain Again, because it's starting again. Okay. So let's just do this. Okay, we're going to just drop the color here at the top, and then I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to run it in all the different directions. I want it to flow out, flow out, so tip it out, just let it run. It's going to typically run where the water is, okay, doesn't need to be... And I'm going to have it the dark, darkest right in here. Let it go. 
the nice thing about these pads of paper is I can let the water can do its thing and I can tilt things where I want it to go. Using just the tip of the brush and the paint. There we go. Okay, now let that dry or force it to dry. I'm going to do the same with the paint. Same with the pink. Wet the petal. Oops. My water is a little dirty, but that's okay. It's the right shade of dirty. Oop. Don't mind if the yellow gets in there. We'll be fine. I'm going to do that deep, rich pink. Okay. Whoa. And she's taken off. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. And just let it go. Good morning, cooking and cleaning all morning. Happy Easter. It's exactly what I want this to do is just take off into that wild blue yonder. There we go. Happy Easter, Rockton. Happy Easter. Okay, I'm just going to now draw this back. I'm drying off my brush, and I'm going to draw all. I'm just going to lighten up the ends. Keep the, the keep right here pretty intense. There we go. See, I'm just lightening this up as I go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we have some pretty soft flowers. I'm kind of debating a little bit in there. Not a lot. I was going to leave it white, but now I feel like it's screaming to be something. So let me just go around and do this. Let me just go around and take that light pink, that really light pink, and just kind of come along in here. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yes. And then we're going to go in, add our details, and bring these guys to life. Doesn't have to be, can just be real faint. Happy Easter. I love everybody surprised I'm here. I'm here. But what the heck? There we go. Very soft, but pretty subtle. Now we're just going to let all this dry. 
Well, it almost stayed white. See, I, I thought about it staying white, but it couldn't. Now, I do want this to dry. Do want this to dry because we're going to put these away for now. Don't need that. Happy Easter, Maureen. I really can't believe it's Easter already. It's just kind of crazy. I'm going to grab out my pens. So that's the pens that I'm using. I love it. All of the, everything I'm using is available on my website, just so you know. This thing needs a new container. I broke the case. Okay, I'm going to go 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9. It should get me 0 0.75, 0 0.7, 0.9. All right. I know it is April tomorrow. You know what that means? One month from my birthday. I will be a traveling again Wednesday. So today I'm going to do laundry and just put everything back in my suitcase. All right, here we go. I can't believe it is. Okay, hopefully this is dry. Yeah, it seems pretty dry. You don't want to take your pens through. They don't like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the tape. I haven't, since I got back from New Orleans this week, I haven't been fully able to like catch up on my sleep and get back into the time zone. And now I'm going back into another time zone. It's kind of always a little, a little wonky for me. I've been waking up incredibly early. So that's probably just going to carry on. Okay. Who's joining me for painting lavender April 18th? My lavender fields, or who's joining me? I would love to know. I know some of you are painting with me, so you're like, stop asking me questions. I haven't been this excited about, okay, good, people are, can't wait. I can't, I, I can't wait either. I, I just haven't been so excited about something in so long. So that feels good. Take your pen and just wisp over the top. Me, me. Love it. Oh, Vicky. She's joining. Okay, good. I love lavender. So I'll be there to paint. I love it, you guys. Okay. All right. That guy's coming to life. Don't you agree? Okay. Now we got to find this guy. All right. And I'm going to do this. You thought we were going to stay in the ugly stage on this, but we just got here. The colors, happy Easter. I know, I'm going soft today. Y'all are seeing a softer side of Tracy. That doesn't happen very often. 
Normally you need sunglasses to look at my artwork, but today, no. Somebody asked if I liked neon colors and I was like, no, believe it or not. As much as I go bright and bold, neons, uh, but I did use a lot of them at the trade show I was just at. So maybe I'm changing my mind on that. Your art changes as you do. Imagine if we all stayed the same. I had a friend once who say, you're not the same girl who bought a one-way ticket to San Diego to move. I'm like, of course I'm not the same person. I have three children, a mortgage. Like, I could be that same person. But that's just the way it goes. Now, can you change the shape of your petals as you go? Sure you can. Sure you can. We'll see, though. I am debating another said possible relocation in my future. Interesting when your kids move or your kids grow up, uh, you know, my kids are in the job search post-college. They graduate in June. So I'm kind of watching what they're doing. I don't know. Okay. What do you think? Sorry, I keep moving it. Texas is lovely. It's on my list, but I I think I want to be closer. I I Roxanne is from, formerly from Cal, lives and lived in California, so she gets it. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I've never discussed my future. I don't know what my future holds. Uh, just really waiting for the kids. But uh, it uh, it it, it I really am leaning toward being closer to my parents who are in North Carolina. Uh, that is something I thought of because I want to be close to family and I have really not been most of my adult life. Uh, 92, I moved here when I was 21. So bought a one-way ticket from Michigan and uh, raised my kids here, the whole nine yards. So I don't know. I'm not ruling anything out, but it's fun to see what my kids are thinking about doing. And if I'm not needed here, and just join the lavender class. If you join while we're online, I, I would love to know that too. Yeah, so if you're on the East Coast, I could be heading back. <laughs> I don't know. Waiting for one more to kind of find her, uh, if she gets any job offers, that kind of thing. Maybe they won't need to move back home. You want to give up the beautiful California weather. Uh, you pay dearly for that. Uh, believe it or not, as much as I do love the beautiful California, and I love where I live. I have a beautiful home. I've worked very hard. And, um, but uh, I'm kind of one of those people who could probably have fun in any weather. I'm not so interested in snow. Uh, just because I moved away from snow. But sure miss my home in Michigan, too. So don't know. But I just don't have much family there anymore in Michigan. It's kind of crazy. 
Everybody went to warmer weather. And believe it or not, California is, the weather has just turned. Like our winters are just wet as all get out. I'm not complaining though. I'm not that kind of gal. I, my, my main intent is always my family. That's, that is a no brainer for me. Okay, now I'm going to stand up and really dig into this. I am, it's been hard to be away from my family for so long. But for so long, they were all coming out to be with me. It's just now it's getting harder for everybody to travel. I'll probably see more of my brother, though. And he also lives in North Carolina. Oh, you know, keep it posted. Years of planning. You know, who knows? Oops, someone wants to know what kind of paper. This is watercolor paper, but I do use a lot of mixed media paper. It's just when I'm using watercolors, I find that watercolor paper is best. You pay dearly in California for your sunshine. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Hmm. I'm debating whether I want this to be. I do. I'm not debating anymore. It's so soft. You know me. It's so soft. It's too soft. I'm going to go in it. Oops. Is this the nope, thicker brush? I'm going to get that out of the water. If you don't want. Now I want a little bit of a bolder. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do pay dearly for. Yes, you can darken things up and layer over. I'm going to just drop some more blue in there. Won't lose the blue. I might even drop a little bit of purple in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I've been all over the United States. Uh, thankfully through work a lot. And uh, I've seen some amazing places. I love Texas. I uh, really want to be close to my cousin's baby. Uh, that's something I have also considered. So much more bang for our buck once we moved, to, moved from California. That's the I think too, as you get older and you think about like retiring and stuff, I don't know that retiring in, well, I don't know a lot of people right now who are retiring in Southern California. It's just really that way. Okay, drop the blue back in. Sometimes I tell people the price of gas in California and they're just flabbergasted. And I'm like, no. Or when I travel and I'm like, oh my God, we could go there because the gas is so cheap. I'm just going to drop a little bit of purple in there too. Isn't that, isn't that nutty? This is really like stuff for me. You like and like, you like. Hmm. 
We live in hill country, about 35 uh, miles north of Boston. Not too much humidity, and it's beautiful. Yes, the house is 289. <laughs> Happy Easter, Lori. <laughs> I filled up on Friday and I think it was like, oh my God, five something. Oh. And I have a wrap four, so I'm not putting like the premium premium. I'm just putting whatever gets my car around. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Jan, these are the pan um, pastel dreams. I have a couple of more sets in stock. I just checked yesterday. That's why I'm using them. I love this set. I was hesitant because I'm not really a pastel girl, uh, but I'm loving them. Okay. I'm going to draw up a little... Okay, I can't draw a straight line if you paid me right now. I don't know why. Come on. Just, it's along the tape. How hard could this be? Hello? Yeah. Talk to myself. Okay. I really want to, yeah, I'm going to. I want to do it. Just do it. We'll talk about it. You know what I said? I started out really soft and now I'm just going to okay, just go crazy. Um, that's some black acrylic paint that I'm watering down. And I'm going to, okay, make sure that I, yeah. Why do I water it down to my ass? Just because it splatters a little bit easier. Than, and I don't want a big clump of acrylic paint. I want it to be fine. Kind of concentrating in the middle. If it goes everywhere else, I don't know. Okay. Perfecto. Done. I don't want it everywhere else. Though. So you know what? Just do it. There we go. It's just uh oh 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 wow well. there goes my new shirt right got paint all over it all right kind of like what I wear has paint everywhere. I'm going to do that stuff again that I did yesterday. So it's going to be pretty. I don't know what it's called. Litter. I'll, I'll find a link for this. Somebody sent it to me. I don't know if they still have it. But just anything glittery. Very Eastery. I like that word. Eastery. Just putting a little bit in the middle. I'm just going to, oh, well, I'm going to roll it around and get, there we go. Oh, hello. My acrylic paint is still wet. So I'm gonna try. There we go. Would I consider doing an apron painting class online? I've done it before. Um, there's one in my shop. Uh, I am going to be doing that at my retreat too. 
Okay, good. That turned out good. Now, I lost my little lines over there. Uh, yeah, let me know if you're online or if I have one online. I know I have one already. It's in the... There we go. Just wanted the middles to be something different. There we go. Okay. I think I'm done. I know what my next class is going to workshop is going to be online already, but I'm not going to share it until after the, uh, I'm kind of excited about it. I already, I haven't even shared. Cause I don't want, you know what I discovered? Somebody's teaching my classes online. So I'm not going to share that until I teach it. Yeah. That was a fun, it's always fun to see when your exact work is, Don't worry. I work very hard to try to come up with things that y'all want to see. Okay, that's that is that is vibing for me. I ended up going way more bolder than I thought I would. I thought this was going to be. Oh yeah, nice clean lines. Nice clean lines. Yeah. Don't worry. Nice clean lines, except for the lines I couldn't manage to draw, but I'm going to come back in. Yeah, I have to have a little cheat sheet. Oh, yeah. See down here, I couldn't exactly get that line to go, but I'm kind of okay with that. No, I'm not. We all know I'm not. Just take a little ruler. I don't need perfect lines. I just, there we go. That's, that's way perfect. <laughs> I don't need perfect lines. Oh, wait. I need a perfect line. Okay. Hang that up. Hang that up. Turn that off. Sign your name. You know, it wasn't until a few years ago I actually got a great signature happening. I mean, I don't think I have a great signature. It's just, it suited me. Okay, all the supplies that I used will, uh, I, you know what, I'll figure out how to like share these little tutorials that I've done. Uh, it's kind of fun just to do something quick and easy. <laughs> all right, we're done. Wishing I could do your retreat, but I'm picking my son up at FDU the week before and bringing him back to Idaho. Oh, and you're so close. Yeah, I love it. Okay, by the way, I do have a winner. Can I announce that here? Um, and, and you'll go ahead in the group and just tell everybody who the winner was. Vicki Jones, that in your artful journey, we have a monthly motivation. And Vicki Jones F. Shatton is our winner. Am I saying that right? She lives in Wisconsin. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and announce that here. Oh, I don't want to show that because we're at the sun. Yeah, and there you go. Uh, so Vicki, uh, Anne can go into the group and announce that formally. So there we go. And we, by the way, we have a little bit of uh, glitter in the middle. I don't like glitter. I'm not a glitter person. But every now and again. Um, oh, Denise. Ooh, thank you for encouraging me to paint. Tough week has truly helped me. Um, anything I can do. Uh, some Painting has gotten me through the best of times and the worst of times, to quote Mark Twain. Um, a tale of two cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Uh, so if I can share a little bit of that. Sure will. Vicky is our winner. Uh, wishing I do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think I got through all the comments. If you are curious and want to paint with me more, I highly suggest joining me for Lavender Fields. That's my art challenge. Uh, thank you. For, the link is right here, by the way. Thank you for joining me. I just want, uh, to, want to let you know that I am traveling again. I know, believe it or not. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I know exactly when I'll be back again. Um, that will be uh, one of my last trips for at least uh, Charles Dickens. Did I say Mark Twain? Charles Dickens. Thank you, Sharon. It's actually my favorite book in high school. 
I was one of the weird kids that when they assigned it that, all the other kids dreaded it and read, it, read the cliff notes. And I deep dived into it. I loved it so much. I loved it so much that I didn't know who the author was. Charles Dickens. Thank you. Um, yes, I will be gone for our Wednesday night fun free demo. However, I'm going to do it Tuesday night. My plan is today is to pack my suitcase so that on Tuesday night, I usually just pack the morning of, but I learned a valuable lesson last um, week when I traveled and I was leaving. They canceled my flight and luckily my, my 950 flight, luckily I had woke up at 4 a.m. and I was able to reschedule for like 750 a.m., which means because I packed the morning of, I had to hop out of bed completely thoroughly pack my suitcase and get out the door in like an hour. So I'm probably not going to do that this time. Travel becomes a little dicey when you're doing that. So uh, I will pack uh, while I'm, it's fresh in my brain. My suitcases are still out. Uh, so I will plan on going live on Tuesday night. I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful and really lovely Easter, no matter what you're doing or who you're doing it with, or if you're just alone and make the most of that day. That's what I'll be doing. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful day.